Well, uh, we certainly are not the team that we want to be as far as the way we're playing. And so, you know, if we just concentrate on us, then that in itself is a is a big challenge because, you know, how many times, uh, just like I, I think was a perfect example of Saturday this past ball game, uh, you know, we uh, had pretty well dominated the second half and then uh, give up uh, a penalty, a 15-yard penalty, roughing a faster penalty, and it cost us a touchdown. And the only touchdown we gave up the second half, and all that was because of a penalty because it was a fourth down, it was a third, maybe a fourth down play, and it was over. And, uh, you know, and then we give up, we give up a, a touchdown off of that. And so – uh, how do you decide? And then we had a 18 play drive, uh, maybe 19, 19, and had three penalties in it. And the last one cost us a touchdown. And so we attempt a field goal, and it was blocked. And so no points. So great, two great examples. You know, is there is there uh, anything that we haven't accomplished? Is there anything we haven't? Yes, those two penalties cost us two touchdowns. And uh, and it don't take many touchdowns to cost a ball game. It don't take many plays. You know, it only takes one play to win, one play to lose. And and we certainly are not uh, uh, we're not fully accomplished yet. That's for sure. And uh, so we you know we've still got plenty of things to work on. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, I don't think. Uh, North Greenville is too concerned about what we've done in the last three ball games, or et cetera. I think they're concerned about uh, playing Carson Newman, and they'll play us hard. And all the things that we had in our favor last week, homecoming, uh, you know, uh, uh, maybe some acts that got our guys fired up, uh, some. Uh, uh, history involved it was all in our favor. This week it's all against us because it's their homecoming. Uh, we beat them pretty good here last year, uh, and uh, and I'm so I'm I'm certain that uh, losing three in a row certainly is not uh, what they have in mind. And uh, they're uh, you know they started off winning their first four. Now they've lost their last three, and I think uh, uh, you know you got to remember. Uh, they've they've beat some good football teams and uh, and a couple team that's beat them uh, is uh, you know Division One Charleston Southern who played Colorado a real tough first half University of Colorado this past week and and then uh, Lenore Ryan who is now ranked in the top 25 I guess I hadn't seen the rankings but I'm sure they are and they're uh, uh, and they're a good football team and so. Uh, this team is a very, very good football team. And uh, so uh, if we go without improvement, uh, then we're going to be in trouble. If we go with improvement, then we got a chance to continue our quest that we are on, which I hope we stay on. What, what impresses you about the Crusaders? Speed, uh, and especially in skill positions. They got a uh, they got two receivers that are really, really fast. They got a, a quick little uh, uh, running back. They got a two-dimensional quarterback, run and throw. And, uh, you know, and they got veterans uh, uh, in the offensive line. They've brought in a lot of new people on defense. And uh, they're pretty crusty on defense. And, and uh, they'll, you know, they'll play with a lot of excitement and fired up and, and we got to match that with 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 the way we play. We talked about special teams throughout the year. Are you happy with the return games, in particular, Treshawn Ward? Well, I sort of, certainly was. You know, he found out Friday that he was going to be the punt returner. And uh, in fact, is we called a lot of punt, punts Friday and Saturday to, to you know to kind of catch him up because he has not been the primary punt returner. And uh, so. I was excited about uh, – he was very confident. He was uh, uh, determined to make something happen, and, and it, uh, it was a great dimension for us. And, of course, you know, he's – he can make people miss, but he's got to have some help on 
other guys getting the job done. And so um, when anytime you you shorten the field, it sure makes a big difference with the with the return game. And uh, uh, and uh, we're we're still not hitting on all cylinders with the return game. You know, we're uh, we'll give up one return a game, kickoff return a game, seems like. Uh, we'll stop them, most of them, and then we'll give up one that's, you know, brand out to the 35-yard line, and then um, or kick it out of bounds and give it to them on the 35-yard line. And then uh, and we're missing, uh, you know, we're, we're not – we're not executing uh, PAT field goal on either side. The the the, the pressure part and the, and the execution part, as far as us uh, kicking it through the those little uprights, which that's what makes it count. And over that little bar too, I guess. And so uh, we, uh, we we're uh, we're we're going to get better there because we got a guy that's one of the best I think in the world, and he'll get better. What have you seen in the development of Ian Jacob and Dante Thomas at the corners? Well, they've had plenty of opportunity because they've played just about every snap for seven straight ball games, and so uh, it's uh, it's been a big encouragement to us. And they, uh, you know, and they're still learning, uh, they're still growing, they're still learning the system. And uh, you know, Dante played hardly any last year, and as a as a freshman and. Ian's a junior college transfer that didn't know anything about Carson Newman much until we got him, and so uh, I'm I'm really uh, I really like those two. They've uh, they've been durable too, which is <laughs> when you only got two, that's pretty important. And uh, and I say only got two, only two that's played with any experience so far, and uh, they've gotten some experience, uh, and, and we haven't played too many people behind them. What about the defense as a whole? 22, 23 takeaways at this point in the season. What is it about this team that's been able to make plays? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, they um, we have got a determined group there, and uh, and so they've uh, we haven't tackled real well at times, and we haven't executed very well at times. But they sure have covered up for that and made up for that uh, with the fact that they've they've sure created a lot of takeaways. And uh, you know the other team can't score if they don't have the ball, and so that sure that sure helps. You mentioned before about some of the distractions that came last week, homecoming, the vandalism. Are you proud of how your team approached all that? Do I like the way they approached it? Are you proud it? of how they approached it? Yeah, I am. I'm I'm proud of the way they handled themselves Saturday. I thought they did really well. It was. Uh, uh, defense, you know, we 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 got some youngins that sometimes uh, struggle with the other people dictating how they respond, you know. And life's pretty complicated if what somebody else d does decides what you do. And uh, but I thought they handled it very well. And uh, so, uh, and there was two or three situations that uh, could have uh, uh, caused some problems, but we had. Uh, I think we only had two defensive penalties the whole ball game, and and if you take away, I think we had five offensive, one delay a game, and two backs jumping, and no, and six we had six, and then we had three with receivers lining up the wrong way, uh, or going in motion, and so uh, uh, Coach Turner's not real excited about that. I can tell you that, and uh, but we're playing some new people at the at the receiver position and. And we had running backs who uh, hadn't had had uh, Tyron had missed two or three straight ball games, and and Baker had only been back last week, and so we got some new. They're not new guys, but it's they're they're kind of starting all over in some ways, and so uh, uh, they were anxious, and and uh, we got way too many penalties. You mentioned the preseason, how it was exciting to have, of course, this football team, but also some young coaches that were getting involved, guys like Nick Rave, Zach Fleming. How have you seen them going from preseason to where they are now? Well, you know, the uh, the thing that uh, everybody wanted to talk about last week was old Coach Sparks coaching his 400th game, you know, and, uh, and then some play-by-play -play announcer kept wanting to talk, you know, wanted to keep talking about uh, – tying or passing up or whatever happened last week with uh, uh, 
Amos Alonzo Stagg, which is one of the great names in our game, and uh, Roy Kidd, who, who I knew per personally, you know. But I, but you know what? All that is directly uh, the people who are responsible for that. Are those guys out there coaching right now? And uh, you know, we've uh, I wouldn't have been coaching in my 400th game, or or we wouldn't be talking about how many games we won or all that if it wasn't for the coaching staff that we have right now. And uh, they're uh, they're an exceptional group now. And uh, uh, you know, I, it really. Uh, it really makes uh, coaching um, a whole lot more enjoyable, and, and, it, and I see the purpose in, in, in a crazy game like football because of the efforts of, uh, of the coaching staff that we have. You know, you think about it, Coach Turner, Coach Clowney, Coach Redding, you know, uh, uh, Coach Crider, some of our old coaches, uh, Coach uh, Iruli, uh, you know, some of our old coaches, and, and then you throw in those young bucks, and uh, – uh, and I'm telling you, that is that is a that's a that's an unbelievable group of men, and uh, I haven't been around coaches any better uh, than uh, you know starting off with uh, probably Dino Waits. Uh, Dino Waits may be uh, one of the most uh, high-level individuals I've ever been around, and. Uh, and then Nick Reves and Zach Fleming and uh, Mike Gertler and uh, Alex Good and uh, uh, you know I and, and I just uh, uh, Nick Craney and I mean it's just an exceptional group of people and uh, and and that's the reason you know you can't help but uh, have. Uh, enjoyment been around people like that and uh, I have to keep food in the house that's the only negative thing you know because all of them like like food and so they and they kind of expect daddy to keep food in the house so I you know so uh, but uh, uh, and I also know of some other people that like food too around the program not mentioning any names or anything but uh, but anyway it's a, it's a great bunch and uh and I'm, I'm just really blessed to be able to just line up with them. <coughs>